Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to run CJI3 for multiple projects. Um, so you find in your favorites again CJI3, you double click on it, and it brings it to CJI3 like I've shown you before. But this time around, instead of running for one project, which is what we did before, yeah, and ignore that number that shouldn't have been there, um, what we're going to do is we're actually going to run it for a few projects. Yeah? So if this was all blank, all the different profiles, the project, you know, that will be some of the things that we spoke about before. What you do is you click on that arrow there, yeah, project, and here it gives you the ability to put multiple projects. So you click again on the search, which is right next to us here, brings you the same screen, in the description you put star Hawaii, for example, star, and you go click at the bottom here. And it brings up a few options, and I'm going to pick Hawaii 9. And then I'm going to click in there, I'm going to go search, description, asterisk, and I'm going to put uh, M A U asterisk, and I'm going to go tick down here. It's going to give me a few options, and I'm going to say Maui 3. And now I've selected two projects. And like that, you can select as many as you want. Once you're ready, when you've got the two projects that you want, you click on the little run clock. And what happens is it brings back up here only one of the numbers, but the other number is behind it. Although you can't see it, it actually is behind it. Yep. Now we select the time again from January to December 07. I'm going to put that at 08. I'll shift it to 08. And in terms of layout, well, it's just defaulted to RPM report but you can actually click if you need to remember and select the RPM report and then you go up to the top here to the little clock and you execute it so when it comes up this time around the report actually has if you see if you look closely it has if I scroll down it has the P305 which is one of the projects and as you scroll down it will have at some point in time the other project P496 there yeah. so now you've got both projects in the same report yeah? once you put this in Excel obviously you can filter one or the other so in general terms when you run reports you normally run it for a number of projects so that you can get you know, the, the report into Excel and then play with it so like I was telling you before if you actually look at the values in here you will see that some of the values are in US dollars and some in Australian dollars. Yeah? So this column in here is showing in Australian dollars and this column in here is showing in US dollars. So ten forty five, eleven dollars thirty. So it's handy. I mean a lot of the times we normally look at the Australian because that's a the final cost but um, sometimes it's handy to have it. Okay.